All right, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Wild Arms 5, where uh, absolutely no time has passed at all in the real world between my last video and this one. None whatsoever. It is uh, May 2012, or... 2011? Fucking... 2010? Whatever. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, that's the jump button. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've always, I've always found the concept of Let's Plays to be very, uh... Oh, I came from that way. Oh, what a smart boy am I. Very, uh... I don't know, just kind of dumb. A little bit narcissistic, isn't it? I mean, who's gonna sit here and, like, listen to me talk? I mean, besides me. I really... I, I don't have much to say, so, uh... I'm gonna scratch my ass. What, what do I do? The other day I was at my girlfriend's house and we ordered Chinese food, and uh, the guy the guy called when he like you know like how delivery drivers or whatever call when they arrive with your uh, carefully prepared meal curated of only the finest tofu. And uh, so I went downstairs to to greet him at the uh, at the entry receptacle. And, uh, there was nobody there. It was, I was very shocked. So, uh, you know, she went back upstairs to, uh, to get her phone and call him back and be like, yo, where are you at? Fortunately, for both of us, that's exactly when I decided to start mumbling to myself. See, it turns out that the, uh, the delivery human was at the side door of the house. But when I started mumbling, he uh, he must have he heard me and he walked over and he goes, "Oh, there you are." I wasn't even talking about anything important. I was talking about like a chair or something. Yeah. After that, I realized mumbling could be a force for good, so I just started mumbling all the time. Okay. I say that like I made a conscious choice, but Where really I've been mumbling I? for years. I'm just gonna Seems mumble. like I got lost again. Like that tree is far away. I can't find anyone Let that be a lesson, though. If you mumble, you will occasionally receive Chinese food. Huh? Looks like we've got ourselves some company. <laughs> After 24 years of trying to kill a 10-year-old child... <laughs> That would have to be 2011, right? I don't know. I'm perfectly aware of what year it is. stuck in here. Probably the same as you, huh? So, uh, what are you doing in here? Oh, no. Oh, God. Just dropping my phone all over the place. Just dropping phones all over Queens. Oh, no, now everybody knows I live in New York. Oh, no, now everybody knows I'm at Queens, New York, like that Eddie Murphy movie. Down here? Oh, no. All, yes. like, three people who are gonna watch this video. Just dropping it's phones. Nothing suspicious. I mean, it, it's the truth, really. I heard they were okay, making a sequel okay. to Coming to Don't America. Be scared. Just calm down, all right? Come on over here with us. All alone like that, you might get attacked by monsters. What would that even be about? Uh, what would it be called? Me. Going from America? You know, I'm strong for my son. No, that would be ridiculous. Somebody really It'd have to be like taught me how to coming fight. to Canada. <laughs> that would actually be legitimately be amazing. It's like, it's all about Eddie Murphy's son, and how he needs to... If you're headed out the front drink door, maple it's syrup, 
and play hockey to like succeed him on the throne. Us. It looks like we can't get out of here. <coughs> what? Do, do you mean? Do you mean we're trapped in here? It also here? opens up the whole yes, door for like a cinematic that universe, is like coming to Mexico, oh, no. coming to Greenland. Are you trying to tell me that there's no coming to Antarctica? We were working on that one ourselves. That deep lore. I know, why don't you follow along with us? I have never been paying attention to a single thing that happened in this cutscene. I, I what the fuck is happening? We found a little girl, and she walked into a wall, and yeah, now she's on our what? team. You're not going to be mean to me, are you? What are you talking about? No, of course not! Why would we be like that to you? Also, now that the YouTube oh, limit is no way, longer like ten minutes, like what's the deal here? Do I keep do I keep these videos under ten minutes for consistency? Do I do I just be like, yo, fuck it, I'll just go till I get tired of Stark. talking? I don't. And my name is Rebecca Streisand. My it's name ridiculous. is Avril. I don't think I would ever make more than twenty minutes a video because whenever I see these videos more than twenty chance. minutes, I'm like, ugh, I don't have time for this, so I never click on it. Avril's forgotten most of what she used to know. The only thing she remembers is Johnny Appleseed. That's what we came here looking for. Do you mean she has amnesia? I could have eaten a whole pizza in the time it took them to have this conversation. Johnny Apple. Let me start now. Hmm. I think I've heard of that somewhere before. Wow! Really? We just keep on finding clues everywhere these days. Hmm. But too bad. These clues just don't seem to lead us anywhere. What is your clue, Rebecca? What is your clue? So the fact that this little girl said she's heard, heard of this? this? Johnny Appleseed. She could be talking about the wine. Hmm. Just saying, she walked into a wall. She looks drunk, sounds drunk, smells drunk. <sighs> it's no good. I'm sorry. I can't remember. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, well. Oh, please... Please forgive me. It's all my fault. No. It is not your fault. And besides, maybe it will come to you sometime later. If you are able to tell us then, that will be just fine. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, I'll keep on trying to remember. Anyway... We've still got to find a way out of this place. So, Carol, you want to come along with us? Oh, yes! Oh, when did we learn her name? I'll do my very best to help. Well, shall we? Let's get going. We just All met right. this girl, we don't know her name. It will be nice or we know her name. Companion. Meanwhile, what do we have? Oh, big okay. man with big hat? What, what was so that guy's much. name? Regular Counselor off. Troy, you know that, Avril? Okay, keep an eye on your. I sense something is up there. Uh, this is all my fault. I I'm so sorry. Don't worry, this always happens. Carol, can you handle yourself? It's always happens. Fight? You okay? I just bump into a mysterious it's ancient wall and get carried on a stone elevator. Test something is up there. This always happens. What do you mean by that? All right, here it comes. Oh shit! There was something up here. Protect everyone! I won't lose. <laughs> we get fire. Oh, 
pretty well. Psyched and ready. Well, that's yourself a hot shot. lovely. Just lovely. This poison hurts us every turn. If we don't cure it fast, we'll be dead before we know it. Yes, so use antidotes to cure the infected hexes. We could probably steal some from the bad guys if we're low on reserves. What bad guys? There's one guy. Oh, that's right, never mind, she's nearsighted. She's walking through a wall. Michael Jackson song? You get it? You get the joke? You get it? And he's wearing a red jacket. <coughs> you know, there's something to be said about people who live in Italy. I guess they shouldn't throw glass pizzas. How do you even make a glass pizza? What does that even mean? What would you use for sauce? I suppose you would use glass. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just having this realization that Dean is kind of like Winnie the Pooh. We're both fine, thanks to both of us. 